All right, let's take a look at how to track form submissions in Google Analytics 4. Uh, we're gonna be using Google Tag Manager here. So in your Google Tag Manager dashboard, uh, go ahead and click Variables. And that would be tagmanager.google.com. Uh, click Configure once you're in the Variables screen. And go down, since we're gonna be tracking form submissions, what we wanna make sure is enabled to here is form ID. You can take a look at other options that are available because there's a lot, um, but uh, form ID is the one we'll need enabled here for this case. It is not enabled out of the box, so you will wanna, uh, you will wanna check that out or get it turned on. Uh, then we'll hop over to tags here to set up our new tag for the GA4 form submission event. Um, so click new. And then go ahead first thing and give your tag a name. Form fill. Use whatever preferred naming convention you, you want. Um, and then click tag configuration. We're going to be using the GA4 event tag here. So click that. And select your configuration tag. You will need to have your configuration tag previously set up here. Uh, we'll be publishing future content on setting that up. So if, or look at Google's documentation, that's pretty solid too. Uh, go ahead and give your event a name. This is what will show up in Google Analytics 4 as the event name. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and label this get started form fill. Once again, you can use whatever preferred naming convention you want here. Uh, Google does have recommended naming conventions for certain type of events, but not form submissions. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and open up and pass in a parameter here. Um, and I'm just going to label that form fill. Um, I can even name it URL. The parameter I'm passing in, what I'm trying to track here is what URL were they on when they submitted the form. So if you have a form where that's on, that lives on 10 or 15 or hundreds of different pages, uh, you can track which page is the higher, highest performing form across your website. Uh, one of the ways to get insight into that, obviously, uh, we're going to pass in the page URL. You, to get that variable uh, or that value, you can use the plus icon over here or the brackets. So we'll go ahead and use brackets and then type in page. Uh, so click page URL. Uh, great, we got the event parameter set up and then go ahead and click triggering. Uh, we're gonna set up a custom trigger. So click new trigger and then give your trigger a name. I'm gonna match my um, tr my tag as far as the naming convention, but you can set it up however you prefer. Uh, great. And for this, we're going to use a form submission uh, for this case. And we're only going to track some forms uh, and we're going to track it via a form ID. So to find your form ID, um, go to your website and the URL you want to track on your website or the form, wherever the form is located, the URL you want to track on your website, and right-click to inspect the rendered HTML. Uh, awesome. And we should be able to see the form ID here. Uh, click inspect again. I think that's the one. Yep, that's right there. And then the ID value is this one right here. It's an ID. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to get this trigger to fire. This trigger fires when form ID equals G form underscore one, which is the value we saw in our form on the get started page. And you can go ahead and save this and save your tag. Awesome. So you've, we've configured the variables and then we've set up the tag and the trigger uh, to fire. But we want to go ahead and test this out in Tag Manager to make sure this is configured correctly. And we'll go ahead and fill this out. And go ahead and submit this. Now that we've successfully submitted that, we can hop back to Tag Assistant screen that was open. And we should see our, our... 
we should see our form fill fired right here. And we can see form fill get started. Uh, awesome. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So we can go ahead and close out Tag Assistant because we can see that it is firing correctly. Go ahead and close out those screens. Uh, now we will want to go ahead and submit our changes to Google Tag Manager. So you can click Submit and then publish your changes. Uh, and then it'll, that'll take just a second and you will see that your new tag triggers and variables are all configured. Uh, so great job. That was the process to get your GA4 form submission event set up in Tag Manager. Uh, and now we'll want to make sure that we can see that that form is also firing or being tracked uh, or that event is being tracked over in Google Analytics 4. So hop over to your Google Analytics 4 property, analytics.google.com, uh, and then into the report section. Uh, if you go into your real-time report, this is one area you should be able to tell that things are working okay. Uh, you should see your event right here under the conversions by event name on, on the right-hand side, or depending on the size of your screen, it can be in different areas. Uh, and in the event count by event name, so these two areas, you should see your event fired uh, it, in the real-time report. So we can see that things appear to be tracking really well here, and they are firing. Um, so that's great. Now we will want to take the next step to get this configured correctly so that these events right here are also tracking in our conversions report in Google Analytics 4. Um, so to get these events tracking in con the conversion report as conversions, uh, there's only one simple ste step we're going to have to take. Uh, so over on the left-hand side, uh, we're going to need to click the configure screen. So click into configure. And then you should see your events under the existing events tracking here. Now to get this to track as a conversion under the conversion reports, you will need to make sure that mark as conversion is enabled, which it will not be out of the box. You'll want to check it. For example, in this one, if we checked it to enable first visit as a conversion, uh, first visit would now be tracking as a conversion. Obviously, we don't want to do that in this case. Um, but get started form fill, you'll want to make sure you enabled that or whatever you named your event. Uh, and now, after that, wait 24 to 48 hours, uh, and you sh should see conversions tracking under the engagement reports under conversions. You should be able to see your new event uh, or your new conversion event being tracked under the conversion report. So great job. If you see that after a day or two, uh, you've successfully set it up. Uh, thanks for listening and following the video. Uh, make sure to tune in for future videos.